Hello YouTube, it's the Survivalist247, and today we're back here in American Truck Simulator, and today we're doing a Mamwet Heavy Haul, because I've got this nice Mamwet uh, T800 uh, Heavy Haul skin, and I haven't used this truck very much. So we're going to use this truck, we've got a triaxle set up today, I can't tell if that axle is already all the way down. I don't know. Yeah, it is. Alright, up, I mean. Um, sorry about that. But, um, today we're going to go pick up a Cat Challenger. Uh, it's just down the road here. We'll go ahead and pull up our map. Um, we're here in Truckee, California. We're going to Carson City, Nevada, I believe. Let me just double check that. I gotta get to there. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing started up and let's get rolling. So let's hop in the interior here. I don't need this today. Because I can read all my gauges. Because I'm on a 1080p flat screen television. So hopefully you guys' uh, viewing experience will be a little bit better. So that way it looks like I have anti-aliasing installed and stuff because I do. So it looks like it's just down the road here. But we're taking a cat challenger today. It's like 60,000 pounds. You don't really need a triaxle for it. But why not? Today we have an 18 speed with an N14 chip tune Cummins inside this T800. And I've never used the N14 in this truck before, so I thought, hey, why not? Almost way overshot that. Let's go ahead and take that. Go into Carson City. Let's let's do this. I have to turn around and back in there. Alright, so let's try to get this load hooked up and everything. So guys, a little bit of news real quick. Um there will be no more multiplayer videos with Trace Gapes. Um if you guys want to see Tracecape's multiplayer videos, go check out his channel. But I'm not going to be doing any more multiplayer videos. Some things came up and we're just not doing it anymore. But I... And anyway, yeah. So anyway, let's get focused on this. Looks like we got... That does not look like a cat challenger to me. I, I guess it is, I don't know. But um, anyway... Let's see how long is this supposed to take us. Just want to check that. Five hours. All right, this won't take too long. Nope, no mirrors. Don't need you. I need to turn you off. There we go. All right, guys, let's get rolling here. So I don't know. Hopefully, you <laughs> not for parking. Oh, that's funny. So this doesn't look like it's too bad. We we'll we'll drop the axle here once we get on the highway, but not yet. Turn on the headlights. We got a doll vario, so that's what this trailer is. I do really love this coming sound. Frankly, I think it's one of Creechy Bomb's best works. So I forgot how long these trailers were. Sounds great. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoy the uh, upped quality of the video for today. I don't know how often I'll be able to use this for this, but uh, today I can. Can't wait till we get up here in uh, Nevada so we can get a little bit faster. There we go. See? There we go. Welcome to Nevada. 80 mile an hour speed limit. There we go, guys. So this shouldn't be too long video. I just wanted to do a little bit of an update. Sorry I had to take down the video from earlier today, but um, I'm, I can't have that up. So. Anyway guys, again, no more Tracecapes multiplayer, 
if you guys want to see uh, Tracecape's multiplayer, go ahead and check out Tracecape's channel. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. He's a great guy. But yeah, guys, go check out his channel. He's a great guy. He just hit 2,000 subs. Go check out his channel. I'll, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description. But he's got, uh, I think, 10 or so multiplayer videos up, and he's got a lot of other videos on there, too. The guy's a great driver. Just trying to pay attention here. I'm not used to having this big of a screen in front of me. I'm used to having a 19 and a half inch computer screen, and I just bumped up to a 50 inch. <laughs> oh god, this really is not good for my eyes, guys. Why are you letting me do this? Don't call me into the way station. Good. Prince trucking. Uh, I guess that that's part of the um realistic logo, company logos. But yeah, I am liking all these trailers that I have in the game. The beverage trailers look nice. I just need to get myself, um, I need to go check out Cask M20's mod, uh, thing, because it just doesn't look right with these dual axle trucks hauling these freaking single axle beverage trailers, because we get, uh, all these trailers up here to BP, up in town all the time, and they're always being hauled by single axle T680s or 579s or um, even uh, single axle Mac Visions. So we never see any uh, dual axle beverage carrying. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and put the tri axle down. Whoopsie. So there we go. We got the tri axle down. So I'm working on a new, I'm on a different profile today, so this should be interesting. Uh, I do apologize for the frame rate dip that's going on right now. Frame rates do not tend to like 1080p in cities. But I am working on figuring out what settings cause my most uh, frame rate in the cities here. Looks like we got a turn coming up here. We'll go ahead and back her down. Oh, I guess that, I get this, I guess this right lane ends. So you can make it up the hill. This thing turned surprisingly well with the triaxle down. It kind of surprised me. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of heavy haul videos soon, I think. I'm going to get the P389 out next. Uh, that'll be probably later on tonight, and we'll upload that tomorrow. But um, this is a bit of a late comer for you guys tonight, but I decided I had to get something in. Um, also, big news, guys. Today was my last day as a freshman in high school. So, I've got all summer to record all day. So, I will be uploading at least twice a day from now on. I'm going to try to. Usually, probably more than that. At least that's what I'm hoping for. I don't know if I'll actually be able to, but I'm going to try. See, another thing that might also be killing my frames is running dual monitors on my GPU. When I should just be running... Uh, one of them on integrated, but my motherboard doesn't have a VGA cable for integrated, only HDMI. And I am not running this game on integrated graphics, so no. Um, yeah, let's see. I don't know how far Carson City is from here. Not too far, I don't think. It's near the top end of Carson City. Uh, I'm going to be getting out um, the T908 and the K200 a lot more. I hope you guys like those trucks. I really love them. Um, if you guys don't want to see them all that much, then just go ahead and tell me. And I won't use them a lot, but I, st I still want to use them. Because they're great trucks. They're really, really well made. Even if they do kill my frames a little bit. The T K200 
K200 has been worked on a lot because it, it used to kill my frames like crazy, especially back in Euro Truck with that huge map, but it doesn't do it anymore, which is really good because I love that truck. I'll be doing another haul with the K100 here soon as well because I want to get that truck back out considering it still works, which is kind of amazing considering all the updates that have come out for this game since that truck was released. Because I don't even think it has had one single update to it since the game was released. Kind of spectacular. Uh, again, guys, uh, another thing. If you guys have any mods you want me to use, you guys haven't sent me any yet, but, you know, maybe you just don't have any. But if you guys have any mods you want me to try out, go ahead and send them out, and I will definitely try them out in my next video if I can. Oh, I don't even have my beacons on. What kind of kind of trucker am I? I'm heavy hauling, I don't even have my beacons out. I'm losing it, guys. Whoa! Okay, pay attention, survivalists. Pay attention. So, I really like this interior, and now that I can actually see it, <laughs> it's really nice. Um, I like how clearly the gauges are. Uh, just labeled there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it is with Kenworths and odd numbers, but you know, Peterbilt is normal. They do, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 miles an hour. No, Kenworths, they have to do 5, 15, 25, 35, 45 miles an hour. I don't understand that. And then they do 10, 20, 30, no, then, then they do 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 110 for kilometers an hour. I'm not sure what in the world is up with Kenworth and what their logic is behind dials and gauges, but they need to chill. Also, guys, um, career series, career let's play, whatever you want to call it, uh, is restarting tomorrow. So, be, be sure to come back to the channel tomorrow and check that out. I'm going to be starting it all over again, and I'm going to be doing things a lot more realistically, because I'd forgotten about some aspects to the game. Like... air brake simulation. And hopefully soon, advanced trailer coupling. That should be interesting. But that's going to be a full-on simulation career let's play. So we'll let let's try this again, again. <laughs> That's probably what the video will be called. We'll just say let's try this again, again. Whoa! I hate that speed reduced from 80 to 30. It's so sudden. It's horrible. So we'll go ahead and. Go ahead and lift the triaxle here in a second. Alright, come on, light, turn green. I think this is a pretty good looking setup. I really like the Mammo USA skin. Again, guys, I apologize for the crummy frame rates here in the city. They're really bad. I don't think I'm hitting. I don't even think I'm hitting over 15. <sighs> Dang it! I gotta get behind this cop. Again, guys, really sorry about these frames. Hopefully, that doesn't uh, kill your viewing experience. Yeah, they're still drivable frames, it's just less drivable. And of course, none of these people are turning right, so I have to wait through all of them. Well, this is a pain. Let's see, what does this say? 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Ooh, there is my odometer. 537 miles. I didn't think I'd put that many on there. Take this right turn right here. This very laggy right turn. Alright, looks 
like we got another left right here. I wonder if the odometer actually works. I have taken a trip in this, so you know what, it might. I don't know how long it was. I don't know how long I actually drove for it, because I didn't finish it. Oh, it does! 5.38! Wow! That's cool. I think the other two trucks, the other, the other three trucks, sorry, the in-game trucks work. They have working odometers as well, but I didn't know mod authors put it in there. Um, I also did not know that that temperature gauge worked. That's kind of cool. It's 80 outside right now. Looks like we're delivering out of plaster and suns, and I'll, I'll back this load in, I guess. Because I'm a professional truck driver. No, I'm not. Don't take my word for that, I'm really not. Never actually gotten in the seat of a truck in my life. <laughs> Never, uh... Gosh, dang it. Oh, this is gonna suck, guys. Alright. We're gonna have to swing back around, I think, to get this. Are we? Oh, we are. Hey, buddy, get out of the way. Get out of the way, buddy. We're going to swing back around around the block real quick here. So let's go ahead and try this again. I think we'll pull over to the side here and do a little bit of an illegal U-turn. how legal this is, you're not doing that. Officer, I apologize. Oh, shut up. It's not like you've never done something stupid like this stupid AI. Oh, God, this is horrible. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. Oh, epic fail. Um, that's what I'm titling this. How to drive a truck? Because I don't. I swear to God, if there's an invisible wall out here. All right, kids, don't try that at home. That's not legal. Turn the hazards off. Hopefully, I can get it a better angle from over here. We're gonna take up the whole left lane over here and try to pull in as straight as we possibly can at this angle at least. Alright, let's try this. Get out of the way. No, get out of the way. There's no guardrail thingy over here, so we should be clear, I think. Alright guys, we made it. Looks like our parking point is over there. I'm gonna swing this wide again so we don't get caught on the fence. Now the question will be, can I turn this massive doll vario around in here? this entire yard to turn this trailer around. They, they got one back here, so it must be possible. That or they professionally parked the thing all the way back here. You know, using a professional driver. Unlike me, I'm not a professional driver at all. 
Alrighty guys, let's try this. We're even gonna go in cab for this. No, we're not. <laughs> I'm not gonna even try that. It'll be horrible. Look at that, guys. First try. So there we go, guys. My epic fail at parking. Turn the reverse off. That's annoying. Anyway, guys. So this has been the T-800 with a mammoth skin. Got a 600 horse. Around 605 horse. Sorry about that. But, um, yeah, guys. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you like the video, please leave a like. If you didn't like the video, tell me in the comments why you didn't like it. I'll see what I can do. Change things up. Tell me what games you guys want to see me play, too. I'd like to know. Uh, I'd like to get some feedback from you guys. But anyway, guys, hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night right now. But anyway, guys, thanks again, and I'll see you all in the next video.